In the 1990s, we were really trying to establish an inclusive economy. We didn't grow particularly quickly, but we put things in place. From 2002 to 2008, it looked as though we were beginning to get a return. Some dynamics, our growth rate picked up, our employment rates picked up, our unemployment dropped. In 2008, the wheels fell off, not just because of the world crisis. We also had a change of regime, a little bit of a loss of focus on this project that we'd been pursuing. And since then, it's been very slow. And sometimes uh, trends or, or levels don't tell the full story. A lot has happened in the country, but we've got a legacy of a society where a few people have all the human capital, have all the assets, the investment funds, to be able to make decisions to save, to invest in their children. And so it's been an uphill struggle and we've been plodding along slowly. My research looks at young people, their schooling, their home background, and as they try to enter the labour market, they try to get employment. It's a crucial South African issue. I was then looking at whether the employment tax incentive policy of the National Treasury facilitates the access of young people into the labour market. We have over 50% of young people out of work. The employment tax incentive is an attempt to encourage firms to hire these young people, put them into work, try them out. One of our huge labour market problems in the country is a first job. It gives the youth labour market experience. It allows firms to see how productive they are. A lot of that is not reflected in their schooling outcomes and the policy is designed to try and rectify that. We find that the policy works for small and medium-sized firms, but the large firms, which are the big hirers of youth, don't seem to be responding that well to the policy. I don't think that means that the policy is a failure. I think what it means is we need to think about the design carefully, try and understand the behaviour of these firms a little bit better, and maybe make some tweaks. Two years ago, we couldn't have addressed this question that I'm explaining right now. We have the data to try and understand firm behaviour in general and the responses to policies like these. It's filling a huge gap in our research base that's crucial for policy making. Thank you.